Tiel, I looked outside and I saw the extreme bean vehicle and I thought that's only, that's only good news for us. It is very good news yeah. because let me tell you, they have brought some very tasty things in the kitchen for us today. I'm joined by Matt and Steve. Matt and Steve, how'd I do? Yes, right I figured on. I had a 50-50 <laughs> yeah, chance, yeah, so absolutely. there you go. Yeah, well Welcome done. to the program, guys. Thanks so much for being here. And I have to say that you have a lot of fans in the area. I'll That's... tell you right off the top, because really, you guys are like the little engine that could. You started out with a small idea, yeah. and you've spread across North America. Tell us about, about Matt and Steve's and, and what the Extreme Beans are all about. Well, about eight years ago, uh, me and Steve were living in a small condo as roommates, and Steve came home one day and he said, I want to put something funky in a Bloody Caesar. And uh, we Celery were, just doesn't just, do it, it for wasn't you guys. Do, Apparently, yeah. yeah it, wasn't, it wasn't doing it for us. <laughs> so um, I said, what are you talking about? He says, well, I want to put like a bean or something. I was like, well, we can't just put a raw bean. we got to pickle it. He's like, okay, well, how do you pickle? And I said, I don't know how to pickle. <laughs> so I called up my mother and I said, You hadn't been already drinking Caesars at this point. Uh, no, actually, believe it. <laughs> it was definitely an influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we called up my mother. My mother said, write this down. Didn't flinch. And we wrote this down. We went to work. The next day, we were building, you know, one or two jars at a time. And, um, yeah. So Mom is the pickle expert. She's a pickle expert, okay, yes. Okay, good. And yeah. she came up with the recipe. No, she and came then... up with the process. Yeah. Oh, we okay. like to say that we come up with, we don't want to yeah. pay a royalty. Okay. <laughs> now, that's, oh, that's that, very smart. Yeah. Smart yeah. indeed. Okay, yeah. now, so this is the story. The recipe, I'm going to turn to you, Steve, yep. because as I've heard through the grapevine, that, that he does all of the recipe work. Is that He's right? He's a good recipe man, yes. It's good to have that kind yeah. of yes. partnership I when you share the I don't claim to be load. a chef or anything like that, <laughs> but I just, we're going to whip some stuff up here, and uh, it's great for well, summer barbecues and the whole bit. Well, what we're going to do here is just we've got some uh, fresh prosciutto, and uh, it's great for entertaining if you're doing any barbecues or anything. Sometimes oh, they're this is perfect. Tough to get out, so you just it. grab this. Prosciutto yeah. is good on anything. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's no doubt about it. So what we're going to do is just tear this off here. So the, obviously, you use your your extreme beans and your products for beverages, like you said, Caesars mm -hmm. and things yeah. like that. But these are are good for for just regular dinner snacks. Yeah, absolutely. It all started with the, the Bloody Caesar. And we've kind of evolved. We've got, you know, the original is the hot and spicy. We've mm -hmm. just launched the garlic and dill. So that's kind of where we got more into the appetizer world. That's a brand new product. Brand new product. Just going to be hitting shelves in the next couple weeks. So what we're going to do here is just kind of grab a bean. Mm -hmm. So we've got a thing of prosciutto and some provolone. Which bean did you use there? That's the, uh, that's the original? That's the original hot okay. and spicy. And we're just going to roll it up just like that. And you can see on the platter over here, we're just yeah, going to put perfect. a little cut. So if you're entertaining, it's a real quick and easy okay. snack. Yeah, absolutely. Give sure. that a little try. Give it a little try. Why <laughs> not? Why wouldn't you? It's noon somewhere. <laughs> so you get the big crunch of the bean. You get the provolone. You get the, a lot of flavors going on. So it's a nice, uh, nice easy snack if you're, if you're hosting it's a barbecue. It's a nice mix, actually, because there is, like you said, there's a bit of salty, there's a bit of cheese, a little bit of spice. It's the perfect match. Yeah. Speaking of Caesars, you mentioned them earlier. Will yes. you stick around and show us some Caesar treats a little bit later on? We'd love to. Love to. Okay, we'll have Absolutely. you back in a little while. Look who's looming here. <laughs> Just came over. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, my God. Well, we Very enjoy that. We will see what Sarah Freemark is up to at the Basket Case Cafe in Morrisburg. Sarah? <laughs>